All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some animated fractals in processing. Um, processing is great for this because you can draw something to the screen pretty easy. Uh, let's take a look though at fractals. In its simplest state, fractals are um, a shape of some sort that is repeated again and again with something subtle changing each time. Uh, down here it kind of shows you how the x and y coordinates and the size of these triangles change and that gives you a Sierpinski triangle. Um, so with that in mind, let's see how we can get up and running quickly with uh, fractals. Alright, so uh, I'm going to show you this uh, sample code for drawing a square, just uh, a rectangle, but yes, a square. Um, I just have a couple of class variables. Uh, I'll use this later. Um, just doing the X and Y though. Starting that out there. I have a setup. The size, um, 500 by 400 is fine. Um, and then we're going to call this a function, a method. And this function takes one parameter, which is the size of the side. So I have a called side. And we're starting out with a 300. Um, and there's no fill. We're just going to have a stroke that's red. That's 255, 0, 0. And then we draw our rectangle starting at the X and Y position. And then this is the, uh, the width and the height. Right? So I hit play. We get this. Right? Um, so what can we do to um, make this a fractal? Um, so... The easiest thing to do is to create what's called a base case and a recursive call. Um, and so you can literally just copy this code here and we'll go back to our um, function, the draw rec function, and then I'll paste that in there. And what this is doing is saying, hey, while the side value is greater than 10 pixels, let's keep drawing. And every time we draw, we're minusing, that's what's happening here, we're minusing 10 from that side. Um, and so now when we run this, we get this cool fractal that, you know, here's the first one, and the last one is this 10 by 10 pixel um, box that uh, is drawn. So that's pretty cool looking, right? Um, it's even cooler though if you can animate these, and that's the beauty of um, processing, is that you have the ability to, to do that. Um, so that's what we saw. So how can we animate it? To the simplest way to do it is we're going to remove the base case from the um, from the draw rec function, and we're going to put it into the um, we're going to put it into our draw method. We're going we didn't even have one yet, but we're going to add a draw method. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to get rid of this. Right, because we're going to put that in the draw method. I so happen to have my draw method commented out here. I'll use that. Um, the only other thing that changed with that base method is I use this second variable because um, I, we're, I don't want to confuse in here. I mean, you could leave it the same and you'd probably be okay. Um, but you know, this takes a parameter called side, and there's a class variable. I named that side too, and then on in here. That's the side that gets changed, and then we take away 10, and then we add it to that draw rect um, function. And so this allows us to draw this to the screen every time um, and kind of slowly build our rectangle instead of when we were doing it here, it was all of a sudden, all at once, was just showing you the result. And I'll show you, I can run this and you'll see it kind of draw, it's pretty quick. Um, you can slow that down by slowing down the frame rate. The frame rate by default is around 25. So if you put 10 in here, it's going to be a little slower. And now we can see that. So very cool. Um, and so I just wanted to, this is really what I wanted to show you. Uh, I don't have a whole lot else, but um, just for to see the possibilities of what you can do. Um, this one, I slightly altered what we had before, but I have two recursive calls. Um, and so, you know, here we just had the one call, 
and this one I have um, two calling down here. And I added some variables. So we were just changing the side. Now I'm actually changing the X and the Y axis. And let me just show you. So if we do it with just the one recursive call. We get something that looks like that, which is kind of cool. But when you add the second one, it looks even cooler. Um, you can add three, four recursive calls with whatever you want. Um, the animation there almost looks like a three-dimensional pyramid of some sort. Um, and so you could get uh, very fancy um, with these. Here's another one. This one's just drawing lines to the screen. Oh, over here. Um, and I just am decreasing the X and increasing the Y each time. And it draws that parabola. Um, and even more interesting is this one here that um, is, again this is a double recursion uh, calling the recursion twice and just drawing it to the screen very cool effect though um, and I'll show you one more this one here um, takes a little more step above that where nothing happens to you click on the screen and then you get your recursion um, it's pretty cool So possibilities are endless. Have fun. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe.